A top South Korean diplomat was in Salt Lake City today to commemorate the Korean War and thank you to veterans who fought to free their country seven decades ago. Yes, yeah, news specialist Jed Bull shows us they still hope to honor every American who fought in that war. Jed? Yeah, Mike, the Korean War is often referred to as the Forgotten War, but the people of South Korea will never forget what American troops did for them when they came and helped them fight for their freedom in 1950. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. 71 years ago, the U.S. sent troops to Korea to defend South Korea from a communist invasion. Without that, the Koreans believe they would not have survived to become a great economy and vibrant democracy. We Koreans are always very much grateful to the, the U.S. service men and women uh, during the Korean War. Since 2014, Korea has presented more than 1,500 Ambassador of Peace medals to Utah combat veterans or their surviving relatives in 13 ceremonies. I see to it that the veterans got them. Marine veteran John Cole has been largely responsible. I got to do something for the Korean War veterans because they're always forgotten. We need to do something to remember them by. Urging veterans to contact the Utah Department of Veterans Affairs to fill out the forms for the Ambassador of Peace medal. I felt they were doing me a great favor, and they thought I was doing them a great favor. More than 20,000 Utah veterans served in the Korean War. As many as 12,000 still live here. Cole endured some of the fiercest fighting and freezing conditions in the Battle of the Chosan Reservoir. The first Marine Division was completely surrounded, outnumbered about 20 to 1 with one of the worst winners in history. He still suffers from frostbite and PTSD. Despite that, he dedicated himself to helping fellow veterans. I couldn't have done it alone, I know that. But it's an honor to me to have done what I've done, and I still want to do. Yeah. So if you or a member of your family is eligible for that medal, get in touch with the Utah Department of Veterans Affairs in order to get the paperwork started in order to receive that medal. We put a link to that on KSLTV.com. Guys? Great to see that recognition. Certainly deserved. Jed, thank you.